The combined gas law combines Boyle's, Charles, and Gay-Lussac's law. Boyle's law is a relationship between pressure and volume. So the relationship between pressure and volume are, is inversely proportional, which means that as the pressure goes up, the volume goes down. Or as the pressure decreases, the volume increases. So for Charles' law, the relationship is directly proportional between volume and temperature. So as the temperature increases, volume increases. And as the volume decreases, temperature decreases. Gay-Lussac's law also has a direct relationship between pressure and temperature. So as the pressure increases, the temperature increases. As the pressure decreases, the temperature decreases. So this is the formula of the combined gas law. P1 times V1 is equal to P2 times V2 is the Boyle's law formula. V1 divided by T1 is equal to V2 divided by T2 is the Charles law formula. P1 divided by T1 is equal to P2 divided by T2 is the Gay-Lussac's law formula. Now solve for P1. Before we can solve for P1, we need to get rid of the denominator. So we are going to do that by cross multiplying the left and the right side of the equation. So P1 times V1 times T2. So we're going to write that here as P1 times V1 times T2 is equal to multiply P1 times, I mean P2 times V2 times T1. So P2 times V2 times T1. Now we can solve for P1. P1 is right here, so I'm going to circle that. So we're going to isolate P1. To do that, we have to divide both sides of the equation by V1 times T2. Cancel V1 on the top, V1 on the bottom, cancel that. T T2 on the top, oops, and also T2 on the bottom, cancel also. So we're going to have P1 is equal to P2 times V2 times T1 divided by V1 times T2. So this is the formula to solve for the initial pressure. Again, solve for P2. We need to, first step, cross multiply so that we get rid of the denominator. So P1 times V1 times T2 is equal to P2 times V2 times T1. So P2 times V2 times T1. So we are looking for P2. P2 is right here. So isolate P2. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by V2 times T1. Cancel V2. Cancel T1. That would leave us with the formula for the final pressure. P1 times V1 times T2 over V2 times T1. Solve for V1. Again, first step, cross multiply to get rid of the denominator. P1 times V1 times T2 is equal to P2 times V2 times T1. Now solve for V1. V1 is right here. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by P1 times T2. P1 times T2. Cancel P1. Cancel T2. That would leave us with V1 is equal to P2 
times V2 times T1 divided by P1 times T2. Easy, huh? Now solve for V2. Again, here's the combined gas law formula. We are going to cross multiply to get rid of the denominators. P1 times V1 times T2 is equal to P2 times V2 times T1. Now solve for V2. So V2 is right here, so I'm going to circle that. Divide both sides of the equation by P2 times T1, so we can isolate V2. P2 times T1, so P2 in the top and P2 in the bottom, so cancel. Same thing with T1. So V2, which is the final volume, is equal to P1 times V1 times T2 divided by P2 times T1. So this is our formula when we try to solve for V2. Now again, T1. So first thing we need to do is cross multiply. So P1 times V1 times T2 is equal to P2 times V2 times T1. And here is our T1. So divide both sides of the equation by P2 times V2 to isolate our T1. Cancel that. Cancel V2. That would leave us with the initial temperature formula, which is P1 V1 times T2 divided by P2 times V2. Next, we are solving for T2. So first step, cross multiply. P1 times V1 times T2 is equal to P2 times V2 times T1. So we are trying to find T2. So divide both sides of the equation by P1 times V1 in order to isolate T2. Cancel P1, cancel V1. That would leave us with the final temperature formula, which is P2 times V2 times T1 divided by P1 times V1. Pretty easy. I hope you learned something from this video, and if you have any questions, please email me or come see me after class. Thanks.